We've lost count of the amount of times you've asked for meatloaf, but we didn't really know how to make it, so we asked you, and you gave us the best possible version ever. It's gonna be after this little music bit. Our meatloaf is a nice combination of beef and pork mince, which we're gonna flavor with mustard, apple, blue cheese, and walnuts. We're gonna wrap it in bacon, bake it off, and serve it with a cream sauce. Sounds like a lot of ingredients. A lot of ingredients, but a very simple process. Yep. I'm gonna take uh, an onion and garlic, peel and dice those. In the meantime, Jamie, you're on the meat. So if you can take uh, beef, <laughs> pork, don't mind that bit. <laughs> beef and pork, 50-50 is always good. Yep. And mix it with these flavors, mustard, apple sauce, maybe half of that blue cheese crumbled and half of those walnuts chopped. Okay. All of these flavors, great idea to go into our meatloaf and suggested by you guys. Thank you very much. Do you know, I, I've never actually eaten meatloaf before until we did it in the live recipe lab. Actually, I think European. Italy, Greece, Germany, Belgium, they all had versions of meatloaf. I think every country kind of has a version of meatloaf. We even have one, Hazlitt, in the UK. But we tend, to do, British, we tend to do um, meat stuffings. Or a farce, if you're putting fruit in it, the French would call it a farce, but essentially... So call what we do here a farce. You are a farce. <laughs> then get my hands into this. I think it's the easiest way, you can use a spoon, but hey, your fingers are easier. All of my onion and garlic can go in there, along with one egg cracked to bind it, and a generous handful of breadcrumbs. That just kind of holds it all together. You might have to crack the egg, I have very sticky fingers. Oh. He's trying to crack a hard boiled egg into our meatloaf. <laughs> okay, we're gonna come back to that. <laughs> He's trying to crack a hard boiled egg into our meatloaf. I got my eggs confused. Right, right. that's the one I wanted in there. Oh, we'll come you. back to the other one. Grated parmesan. A generous handful, although we've already got the blue cheese in there as well. Just to keep it all super fresh, a little bit of parsley. So that's going in there as well, along with a generous pinch of salt and pepper. And what I love here is a combination of kind of really quite salty blue cheese, yeah. the sweetness of the apple, the bitterness of the walnuts, plus the crunch. It's kind of all going on. It's a great combination of flavour. We're going to line our loaf tin with some streaky bacon because you've got to with meatloaf. Yep. Um, everyone said we've got to line it, so we will do. So the important thing here is to line our loaf tin, but keep a good overlap. Because later on we're going to turn it out, and if they're not overlapped, meat shrinks as it cooks. Yep. So if the bacon strips and they're not overlapped, then they won't be overlapping later on and you'll get gaps. So I'll overlap a bit like that all the way along. And while you're doing that, I'm gonna peel our hard boiled eggs. Are you sure those are hard boiled eggs? Yes, we've already tested that. <laughs> so this is an optional extra. This is, we didn't have hard boiled egg when we did this in the recipe lab, but suggestions came in and we thought it was brilliant, so we're gonna add it. And then when you get to that part, one slice in half. Oh, didn't actually happen. We'll do that around those sides. Right. So now it's a lot of meat mixture, but we only need half of it first. Spread it out into all the corners, and then if you can lay the eggs. <laughs> I can try then. Uh, I haven't been able to do it before, but you know, I'll give it a go. Anything for sorting. If you can just lay the eggs <laughs> along this meat. <laughs> right. You're an idiot. Put those in there. Perfect. And then we pack more meat in and around. I'm a medical marvel. Fold all of our bacon back over. Now in theory you don't need to cover all of the top because when you turn it out it becomes the bottom, no one sees it. But what it does do is stop the meat from drying out inside. So if you can, it is worth doing. And that then goes into an oven at 180 degrees Celsius for an hour. And in the meantime, we can make a walnut and cream sauce. It'll be delicious. I'll go put this in now. Please do. Now? Please. Right. After an hour of cooking, the meatloaf is cooked. You can see it's come back away from the sides because mm. it has shrunk. If you turn it out into another roasting tin, oh. you can see the bottom perfectly cooked, but not crispy. Yeah. So somebody else mentioned that actually if you put it back into an oven, it will crisp that up. Top tip. And that will just take five or 10 minutes to crisp up. In the meantime, we can do a quick sauce. So we've got walnuts here. Yep. If you can just chop those up. And some fresh parsley, if you can do the same. And over here, I've got one shallot and a clove of garlic that I've just sweated off in a little bit of oil. So the cream is gonna go into the pan. It's a super simple cream sauce. Nothing healthy about this, but it tastes so good. A little pinch of salt and pepper, and then I'll take the nuts from you. And if you can do the same with the parsley. Just a small? Yeah, pretty much. Just so we've got a fleck going through our sauce. Cool stuff, that will do us. A little bit of parsley in there. And then that can go into, our, I've made my life very difficult <laughs> by finding a very cool looking dish. But one, very small. I think we've done all right there. So there we go, a nice cream walnut sauce. 
just taste that on its own while I grab the bacon back out. Here we go. That's crisp up. Take off any insipid kind of colour. I think it is kind of a centrepiece uh, dish, so take it to the table, you slice at the table even. We'll take the first few slices out. There oh, we go. Oh, one more for the yolk. That is excellent. There we go. So a beautiful bit of meatloaf, a very simple walnut and cream sauce to serve with it. Final sprinkling of parsley. Go for it. All over. And there it is, our version of meatloaf with your help, sorted. Now I think the best way to do this is one slice. My there second there. ever meatloaf experience. This one bettered by the egg after your first. Oh yeah. Mmm. Lots of texture in there because oh. of the nuts. Sweetness from apple sauce. It is delicious. Herby cheesy and the egg, I have to be honest, let's add something else too. We'd love to know what you eat your meatloaf with, so comment below, let us know. Is it mashed potato, roast potatoes? I'm not gonna give you all the answers. Tell us. 